There has been much discussion lately on the recent appointment of GCOM Chairman, retired Judge James Patterson. Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu in his Sunday column in the Guyana Chronicle, My Turn, shared his views. Under the title Decisive Decision, President Averts Constitutional Crisis, the Prime Minister juxtaposed Opposition Chief Whip Gill to share his blast against the U.S. Ambassador for saying that without a chairman, GCOM was not at crisis point as yet, with the fact that she has recognized that failure to have a chairman for GCOM would be problematic. The Prime Minister raised three salient points. Quote, by appointing Justice James Patterson, a retired judge in both the Guyana and Caribbean jurisdictions, the President has acted within the Constitution. He has averted the flashpoint to which Mrs. Tashir alluded and possibly also a constitutional crisis, the specter of which Mr. Jack Dio had harbored in his political nightmares. End quote. He noted further, quote, It is my view that a leader of the opposition had sought to limit the president's choice when he planted in each of those lists several names of persons who could not reasonably be expected to act impartially. Those included former PP electioneers, candidates, backers, financiers, and a couple of persons who had declared interest in Jagdeo running for a third term as president. The ordinary Guyanese could see through Jagdeo's unimaginative stratagem of that of the proverbial smart fly. More cynically, they would conclude that Jagdeo had deliberately or cunningly cooked up or cocked the lists or both. End quote. And thirdly, the PM believes that, Quote, for the opposition leader, this is a classical Russian roulette, the final. Last election that could restore his place in power, privilege, and perks. As one writer described it, Mr. Jagdeo salivates over potential oil wealth. This would explain why Mr. Jagdeo acted in bad faith and failed to deliver on his constitutional duty to submit a list as required by law. End quote.